IOM recognizes the importance of communities to ensure the sustainability of reintegration also with regards to its psychosocial dimension. Therefore, sensitizing community leaders and other migration stakeholders about mental health and psychosocial support is key to a holistic approach to reintegration. In the past 12 months, and with the support of GIZ, the German Cooperation Agency, IOM Ghana has built detection and counseling capacities, so contributing to an enabling environment for returnees to become fully functioning members of society. Robert Ketor, our psychosocial assistant, has so far trained 289 beneficiaries, of which 90 were women, in 17 sessions in many parts of Ghana, including a government reception and quarantine center for persons evacuated back to Ghana because of the COVID-19 pandemic. This training was really insightful. It's really expanded our knowledge base on mental health issues, the challenges that some of the returnees face when they come here. And we are really grateful for this. We'll be able to um, cater to their mental health needs, give them psychological test aid, even before they, they see the psychologist. That helped us to understand the returnees better. So, in a nutshell, it's going to help us with our work here. I'm Robert Keto, a clinical psychologist with International Organization for Migration, IOM Accra. I am the psychosocial project assistant and I'm in charge of providing counseling for our returnees who have come back with psychological distress. And not all of them will definitely will develop mental illness, but some come with some form of distress and they will need support. So my work is to make sure that these people are okay also have small group sessions for the returnees so that they are able to better cope with the situations they find themselves in and finally also engage in capacity building for our stakeholders implementing partners and community influences across the country migration be it voluntary or involuntary can put the life of an individual the family under stress Again, whether the migration is regular or irregular can have effects on the individual. How did you feel the first time you have to move from home to another place to more than a day? How did you spend your night? During the phase of migration, that before, during and after, and even return, migrants react psychologically to the situation with fear and anxiety being common. And this could result in the development of mild to severe forms of psychological distress even mental disorders, especially if not checked. Hence, the need for mental health and psychosocial support is paramount, especially for migrants. Others may have to battle with issues of stigmatization and other emotional issues such as guilt. Some come back very traumatized because of the ordeals they have gone through using irregular routes. In IOM, we aim at providing holistic support to migrants that we work with. This does not only focus on the economic aspect alone but goes beyond that to include the health and more importantly the mental aspects of migrants we believe that availability and accessibility of psychosocial support and mental health care for all migrants irrespective of their status and their host communities can contribute to their positive social and economic outcomes for migrants their families and the community at large. Health, according to the World Health Organization, is defined as a complete state of physical, mental, social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. This means that for us to consider the health of migrants, we need to look at it holistically, from the physical aspect, the mental aspect, and even within their societal context. And when we talk about migration health, it refers to the well-being of migrants and their population, their families and the communities which they live in. So it's just like focusing on the whole um, aspect of the individual from head to toe. Why do we need to promote the um, health of migrants? Because migrants have rights and again migrants when they come they have skills that they can contribute to their society. So if you don't cater for their health, if you don't look at their mental health and then we leave them on their own, and then they develop severe mental illness, you realize that the skills they came back with, we lose those skills. Again, we would 
they will not be able to contribute to the society as they are expected to do. Mental health refers to a state of well-being in which an individual realizes his or her own abilities, can cope with the normal stresses of life, work productively and fruitfully, and is able to make contributions to his or her, his or her communities. This means that for an individual to be mentally healthy, the individual needs to be able to identify the abilities that he or she has and able to cope with the normal stresses of life. Psychosocial support refers to actions that addresses the social and psychological needs of individuals, families and communities. We don't only focus on the migrant but we go beyond supporting what the migrant family and communities. If you're able to help a migrant bounce back to life, we've supported the family, we've supported the community. The aim of psychosocial support is for the individual to be able to bounce back to life, especially after facing the, um, a crisis situation. Mental health disorder refers to any illness that affects the thoughts, emotions and behavior of an individual that produces negative effects on the person's life, the lives of their family members. So until this illness is affecting the daily function of the individual, that person cannot be said to be mentally ill, but then can be going through a distress. So it's not all psychological distress that are mental health disorders. Once you go through a distress, doesn't mean that you are having a mental health illness. Your friend is Simon Kwache. If I dance by the sun, to coin a colibiana, we room for eating. To me call eating, you know, a cock of over call. Then I met to us a call German, a call whom you know. My coin, you know, and crater, same one, you know, not just a mina hong crater. My aid may be a fee. Bedroof, you know, be fan you may be brim. And not just a head in a mammy. Obi eka I will inform us and chair me. I'm a meko. Meko and so I'm a boami. I'm a boami mina driving lances. I'm a high diamond meat name. I'm a container me or my boami as you see a meco store. And a non colonna me or Hana me refit me didn't come up here and read me and now, me buy a dear, me come on a man for a serum, me say, me to come up, man for baby amber. Inti, Emma, me wa wa na me buofu. Ani me ma say me buti me fu amu pa. Me call, we say I am me fu ano ano. Ana amu kachere me say, amu ni pe bi umbeti me dina mami ya, oba bo ami. Emma sa ani o mani ni na ako. Inti wa ni me tina se, e ding koma every two weeks bi ane mi shiano. When we did some common, or tram a quiet, my first war, Sanyo, mammy, for me, and meeting me a year free me to him. A course one, I see, see, and when who say, Sanyo, money in an echo. See, see, and a dear, if he say, Sanyo, money in an echo, any more with the boy, I mean, see, see, I'm a man, maybe be a crab, me, ain't you know. I'm blessed, men, sir, from Botta Reggie. I traveled to Saudi Arabia 2016. And I came back 2018, and in fact, it was very bad. My family, my friends, everything was not good. So I was informed by the IOM, and I went there to see the counselor because I was having emotional problem. I can't sleep. I sleep at le not less than five minutes. Any little noise, my heart just got better. And it's on and off. I'm always afraid. After seeing the counselor, about three, three to three months, he's he spoke to me, he advised me, and I said, I, from there I tried to recover myself. And the IOM supports me financially. 
And for now, I am okay. Once I do have an over cooperation, man, she said, Ebia, Ebia, I'll be sure. No, Ebia, and yet, said there was a echo. And he said, Wouldn't you be home? No, I said, Oh, me will cancel a beer. Ebia, you'll be to me in wedding for more, Emma. So I pleasure have a doubt, so I will see you in a night. Let me, I okay. Me, me, dear, advice I'm the be money for chronic, said, I will say, I wouldn't win if I chronic echo. No chill, ni pan, ni ni pan, ni no tenace, no no din komo, na with me okay. When we are returnees and they ask you to go and see a castle, you shouldn't refuse it. It will take away the pain, the uncomfortability, and it will take it away from you, and it will make you feel better, and you feel normal. 